Good afternoon. This is Universal News Media. Today is March 1st, 2018. Today we are going to see a planet too big to fit into the weather cam's field of view. <clears throat> we will also see a non-round sun. These images just came in yesterday from the FAA weather cams scattered across Alaska and Canada. These videos are in time-lapse mode with each frame equal to 10 minutes. This large striped planet is being viewed from the southeast facing weather cam located in Summit, Alaska. An eclipse is occurring, but the sun does not look like a planet is in front of it. That's because this is not the sun. The planet is actually in front of our real sun. This is the flashlight sun, which is an incredibly intense light source installed between the earth and the real sun, much closer to the earth. It mechanically tracks in perfect synchronization with our real sun. Notice how dark the landscape is, as if it were dusk or late evening. Odd-shaped reflections of the eclipse concealment jet swing into view from the right side of the screen, keeping in perfect alignment with the eclipsing planet and the black dot for optimum concealment. Another function of the flashlight sun is to completely engulf a nearby celestial object in glare, rendering it non-viewable. In an attempt to do this, the flashlight sun assumes a very odd shape. It is no longer round. When the flashlight sun looks like this, an eclipse is happening. It just finished one eclipse and is into another. In this frame, the planet is visible. Another concealment function of the flashlight sun is the ability to blur celestial objects, making them difficult to see. Here is a contrast enhanced view of that picture. The flashlight sun becomes contorted in an attempt to engulf this planet in its glare. The planet fades into transparency from the atmospheric chemicals. <clears throat> Before the flashlight sun leaves the screen, another planet comes into view, but fades into transparency from the atmospheric chemicals. This same sun is now viewable from the southwest facing camera. The black dot emits a black positioning indicator beam to the eclipse concealment equipment and jet, waiting for a signal. There are actually two planets in this frame. The smaller one, striped, is partly below the horizon and an unbelievably massive planet, blurred by technology so that it is nearly undetectable. Here is a contrast view, which brings them out better. This is the same planet we saw on February 17th from Huna, Alaska. It's so large the top of it is not seen nor the bottom in the camera field. Back to Summit, Alaska. After receiving the black beam signal, the eclipse concealment jet swings into view from the right side of the screen, keeping in perfect alignment with the massive planet and the black dot. The flashlight sun becomes extremely contorted as it attempts to engulf this enormous planet in glare. By the time the sun passes to the left, or to the right, off the screen, these planets have sunk behind the horizon and out of sight. Notice how red the horizon is after the planets have set. Here is a thumbnail view of all four weather cams yesterday afternoon. Notice how dark the picture is with the contorted flashlight sun. They may be able to hide an eclipse, but they cannot do anything with the sudden darkness that falls upon the land when these eclipses occur. The planets we have just viewed are part of an approaching celestial system. Many people ask when the system will make its closest pass to our Earth. A general indication of time is provided in the following pages of text. Please don't forget to like this video and subscribe.